Hello and welcome to another video. After I gave up my dialogue system, I got questions from many people asking how to integrate the dialogue system into their own projects. So I thought I would just quickly make a video about that because there are some steps that you have to complete and special things that you have to pay attention to. So I created this personal project here, which is just the first person template. And I opened up the dialogue system, which you should all have access to. First thing I did here is go to the third person BP folder and I moved the third person character into the dialogue system folder. So feel free to do that as well. Afterwards, I will right click the dialogue system folder and hit migrate. Then you will need to save and it will show you a list of all the assets that will be migrated to the other project. Hit OK. And afterwards, you will be asked to select the content folder of the project you want to add the system to. So you can just quickly select that. I will use the private project, select the content folder and then hit OK. It will say that it was migrated successfully. So after we did that, you can close the dialogue system. And we are back in our personal project. Now you will see that we have a folder called dialogue system here. I'll just quickly give that a color so I can see that. However, it doesn't work just like that because some of the scripting part is done in our third person character. And so everything that's in our third person character right now has to be transferred to our first person character. So let's open up the third person character. And let's open up the first person character. Okay. The first thing that you will notice is that it's giving you a compiler error and it says event for the keys bound to input action continue are pressed or released. Which just telling you that this input action that I call continue doesn't exist in this project so we will need to create that. Go to edit project settings then go to input and add another action mapping that we will call continue. Then you want to specify the keys for that. So I think I use the space key, spacebar, and also enter. After you did that, you can close the engine input here. Go to your first person character, right click and search for continue. And then you'll get access to the input action continue here. Let's go back to the third person character. And if we head over to the viewport, you'll see that we've got that interact capsule. So we'll right click, copy that, go to the first person character and paste it to our capsule component. So we've got that here as well. Let's give it a name like interaction capsule. And we will add two events on component begin overlap and on component end overlap. Let's actually move our input action down here. Then we'll go back to the third person character to the event graph. We have to copy all of the custom events that we created here as well as the variables. So let's start with begin play. Copy the spawn actor BP dialog manager and the set dialog manager reference nodes and paste them in the event begin play of the first person character. So we will add some space here, paste it, connect it, connect it to the branch. Also, you will right click on the dialog manager and create variable because we don't have a variable for that in the first person character. Now we've got that. Also, you have to delete self because here it's asking for a third person char reference. For now, we will change that later. And we are currently in the first person character. Pile save. Then let's go back to the third person character again. And we can copy the number keys. Paste them somewhere in here. And right click on press number, create variable, press number. Then go back to the third person character. We will copy the up and down keys paste it here, 
right click on the up down create variable and right click on the down down and create variable here let's copy the continue command nodes and paste them for our continue command down here in the first person character then we've got on dialog finish let's copy the whole comment box here paste it do the same thing for on decision made and right click on nearby npc create variable nearby npc compile and save then we will go down to the e key copy that paste it down here again you'll need to remove the self reference here need to change that later and finally we've got the on component begin overlap and end overlap for interact radius copy everything here and paste it for our interaction capsule here connect the other actor to the cast to master npc and connect the other actor of the end overlap to the equal node then connect the execution path compile and save now we've got all of the events and variables for our first person character ready next thing we'll have to do is can actually close the third person character now and we'll need to go to our blueprints bp dialog manager here we want to select a character reference that is exposed on spawn and change the variable type to first person character yeah change variable type it will give us some errors so let's fix those okay here it disconnected the character from the on decision made so just re-add that on decision made connect the current decision index and option plus one to the option index then we can remove it connect it to the execution and connect that to the reroute node here okay then there is another error down here so we will drag off of the character once again call on dialog finished and connect the current dialog index then remove the old node compile and save you can actually check whether you fixed everything by just going to the search here and then search for character and you want to check find and current blueprint only and you see that those two entries that appear are the two things that we just fixed okay so that's it for our bp dialog manager you can close that and in our first person character we can go back to event begin play get a reference to ourself that we will connect as the character now compile and save okay we're nearly done there's only one step left which is to go to our blueprints ai folder open up the bp master npc and here we've got a player character variable as well so we'll change that from third person to first person character reference change variable type and this time we'll get some more errors but that should not be a problem so we'll go to the search again check find and current blueprint only and just type in player character and then we'll have to work our way through all the entries here and reconnect the player character because it probably disconnected all of those wires okay the first thing is on interact here here we've got an input of the type third person character so change that to first person or whatever template you're using then connect it to the set player variable here that was the second entry in our list so we can go to the next one that's up here where we get the character movement component so just drag off of the player character once again and get 
character movement. Then connect that to disable movement and stop movement immediately. Remove the error node. Let's go to the next entry. Here again, we have to get the character movement and connect it to the set movement mode. Then the next entry. Here we'll just need to connect the player character to set actor location. The next entry is in our show next important dialog function. Here we have to connect the player character to the is valid node. And up here get the dialog manager connected to add simple dialog. Again, remove the old node. Let's go to the next entry. Oh yeah, we already fixed that. Next one is in turn to player. You don't have to worry about that because we just get the player character at index zero here. So it's not related to our player character reference here. Next one is in reset camera. Just have to connect the player character to new view target. Then there is one in player turn to NPC. Yeah, here we have to connect the player character to set actor rotation. Also connect him to the get actor location. And get his character movement component once again. Connect that to stop movement immediately. Then there is one in add custom important dialog. Here connect the player character to the is valid node. And up here we will need to get the dialog manager again. Connect it to the add simple dialog. Remove the old one just like we did before. Afterwards there is one in add decision. Here again connect the player character to the is valid node. Get the dialog manager. Connect the dialog manager to the second is valid node. And when you go to the right here, to add decision. Move the old node. And the last one is in fade to black. Here we just want to get the dialog manager again. Connect him to the main widget. Remove the old node. Compile. Save. And there should be no errors left. One thing left to do is to go back to your first person blueprint and search our E key here because we have to get a reference to self here. Connect that to the on interact. Compile and save. Now that was everything you had to do to migrate the system to your project. Afterwards you can just go to the dialog system and remove the third person character. Force delete. And you should be able to use it now. So let's just check whether it's working. We will drag in the BP time limit. Check is important. Check has custom behavior. Give it a name, time, the limit, and we will hit play. Here he is, press E to interact, let's do that. Some decisions that heavily influence the story can also have a custom time limit. And as you can see the dialogue show up. Has expired, the currently selected option will be confirmed. Here is an example, what do you want to do? And we can also use the arrow keys or hit one or two to select an option here. Everything is working just fine. That it just show shows us video. that the system was successfully migrated. Alright, I hope you liked the video and the next one will finally be about the quest system again. So see you in the next one.